channel. It's Tay, and I am here to do a little bit of rambling about my newest release. Depending on when you're watching this, this could be pre-release or post-release. So that's why I'm just going to call it my ramblings of Seduced by a Night. So let's just dive right in. For those of you who are not aware, The Wild Nights is a spinoff of The Nobles of Sweet Rapids, my series that first came out, I think like four or five years ago. And that's really crazy to me because I can't even like believe that it's been that long that The Nobles of Sweet Rapids came out. But um, like I said, they, the Wild Nights is a spinoff of this series, The Nobles of Sweet Rapids. In Noble Sedu Seduction, excuse me, I mentioned that Irene, the Noble Quad's mother, has a twin sister named Ruby. And the Wild Knights are Ruby's three sons, Remington, Roman, and Ramsey. Ramsey is featured in this latest book, Seduced by a Knight, and he is an artist and he's back home in Sweet Rapids doing some murals around town and he's also in town for a festival for music and arts, a music and arts festival and one of the events that he kind of has is a live painting at his brother's brewery and that is where he kind of first meets London and London is in town. Her uncle is from Sweet Rapids. He lives there, he owns a bookstore. And so London has been there for the last few months kind of just helping out her uncle. And she's she suffered from a heartbreak. So she's kind of just there to try to get over the heartbreak and try to move on. And while she's there, she kind of picks back up her music. She used to play a long time ago. And while she's there, she gets back into it, playing her guitar and playing her music and singing. And the crowd loves her so much at night brewing that Remy ends up asking her to kind of be a regular performer there. And he links up London and Ram Ramsey to do this event together. And their chemistry from the beginning is just like, off the charts and I love it so much they're just they're so high guys like they really are and they are probably by far in this series my favorite couple I think I try when I do series I try to save the best for last and that doesn't always come across I don't think and that's not to say that the last book in the series other series that I've done are bad they're just not necessarily always my favorite or I don't always feel like they necessarily came off as the best in the series I truly feel like for this series seduced by a night is probably the best in the series it, it also is the longest in the series so yay to that you get a little bit more to read it's full of heat and passion and there's some drama mixed in in there and it's just so jam-packed with a lot of good things and I can't wait for you guys to read it also seduced by a night is book 40 sort of in my catalog of books my husband will argue that it's book 41 and technically he is right it is my 41st published book but it is my 40th written book book that I've written to be published I say that because if you followed along with me, you know that I published my anthology for the Colton Novella series, and that includes all of the books together in one big book. Um, so that is where the extra book comes in. And so he counts that as a whole other book, which he's not wrong, but Seduced by a Night is number 40 that I have written to be published. And so I'm happy, I'm celebrating, and not only that, guys, but it's coming out on June 21st. I'm recording this on the 20th. I am so tired because I literally have just, like, wrapped it up. And I wanted so bad to get this book out on the 21st because June 21st is the anniversary of when I released my first book, Dream Lover eight years ago in 2012 and here's that one i recently redid the cover about 
I don't know, it hasn't even been a year that I redid the cover, but um, this is the updated cover that I did for this book. And I can't even believe it, guys, that it's been almost a decade that I have been writing romance. Like, seriously, <laughs> if you told me a decade ago that I would be writing romance novels, I don't think I would have believed you. I've always loved reading romance and I've always loved writing, but I don't think at that time, way back then, I would have ever like thought to get into this, but I'm so glad that I did. I have enjoyed the last eight years of writing and bringing you guys all of these stories, 40 books that I've given you guys. I feel so blessed to be able to do this and I just, I, I'm nowhere near done. And so I hope you guys stick with me and continue on this journey with me of all of these books. And I just am so excited. I can't wait for you guys to read it. If this, if you're watching this after the book has been published, I hope you guys enjoyed reading it. If you're, if you're reading it or if you read it and you're just now watching this, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a review. Um, or you can email me or reach out to me and just let me know your thoughts. And also, speaking of, if you want to talk about the book in real time, like just talking about it and chatting, or if you're like, oh, I need somewhere to like spoil this book but not spoil it for people, I do have a reader, another reader group. Like Taste Place is my regular reader group, but I've created another group to where like we can just kind of talk about the book in real time as opposed to a book chat. Um, and that's called Spoiler Alert. It, the name changes with every book title, so this one will be Spoiler Alert, Seduced by a Night. I'll put the link in <clears throat> the description box below. But yeah, just reach out to me. I really would like to hear you guys' thoughts on this book. Um, it's very steamy, it's very fun. It also does have some drama. You might, you might get a little teary out a little bit, maybe just a little bit, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm so happy to be done. I'm ready to rest, guys. I'm so tired, like I said earlier. A few more things. First, I did create a Spotify playlist. And if you download the ebook, if you go to the very beginning of the book, it's going to have, um, seduced soundtrack. If you click on the picture, it will take you to Spotify's playlist and you'll be able to listen to the playlist while you read the book. And this is kind of something I just kind of put together. I listened to a whole lot more songs, but these were my favorites that I just kind of put together for a Seduced by a Night soundtrack. Also, I will be doing a reader box for The Wild Nights. It'll probably come out sometime next month. I'm still trying to kind of figure out what I want to do for Claimed by a Night as far as what's going to coincide with the book. So for like Falling for a Night, I have these cute little, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have these cute little charms. And if you remember from the book, it was a kind of Cinderella retelling. And instead of Cynthia losing her shoe, like Cinderella does, she loses her charm that has a heel on it. And so that will be for Falling for a Night. And then for Claimed by a Night, there'll be the bottle opener that has night brewing on it because of course, Remy is a brewer. And like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for Seduced by a Night, but I have a couple of ideas already. I might have shirts, I don't know yet. If I do, they might be, if you've seen the shirt, like I have a shirt in the intro, if you saw my shirt in the intro, the kind of baseball tee that has night brewing on it and I've considered doing those shirts. They are a little more cost-wise, so it might just be something that I put on my website for purchase separately. If you want it in the reader box, maybe I'll take a poll and see what you guys are thinking. But just keep in mind, the reader box might cost a little more because those shirts are a little bit more. And it can be an add-on, maybe, we'll see. Maybe you want to do it as an add-on. Still working on all of that, but um, I'm gonna go, guys, because it's Saturday and tomorrow is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I have to get ready to spoil my husband, who is a great father, to my wonderful children. So I'm gonna relax tonight and kind of just enjoy and 
very eagerly get ready for you guys to get this book seduced by a night it's coming june 21st and i'm so excited it's number 40 ish <laughs> and it's also again my eight year anniversary so i'm also gonna go celebrate that because almost 10 years guys that's a big deal thanks for watching i love you guys all so much i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart i hope you're doing well i hope you're staying safe and healthy and just be good to each other. I love you guys. Bye.